most of us today so easily fall into addictions. So much of what is detrimental to us, to our mental health, has been normalized in society, which makes it so easy for us to fall into these addictions. Modern society is ruled by a few powerful elite who want people to be complacent because that makes them easy to control. So they control the education system, they control social media, and they normalize these things so that the weak, the unprivileged suffer because of it because it makes them easy to control and makes a profit for the powerful. They normalize porn because it makes people okay with being alone. It destroys people's testosterone, their ambition to drive forward in life. They associate drugs like weed and alcohol with partying, with things that are fun, so that you do these things every night because you think it's the only way to relax, have fun, but it doesn't do much for you. It destroys your life. It wastes your time. It destroys your ambition to push further in life. Video games are so addicting because they fill that void inside of you. As a man, you are meant to provide, to protect, to build yourself through hard decisions. And when you're not doing that, because you're being satisfied with porn, with drugs, with alcohol. There is something inside you that seems empty. And video games have been engineered by people to fill this void. Video games give you that sense of progression. Like you're actually doing something. This is why they are so addicting to you. You go to video games, you level up. You earn XP, you get cosmetics, you compete against others. All these are inherently part of every man. They are what drives a successful man, having these traits and using them in real life. But when you do it through video games, you make no progress in real life. But your brain doesn't know that. So it still thinks that it is making progress, which is why it's so addicting. And this is the problem with all addictions. All these addictions, porn, video games, drugs, alcohol, junk food. They are so addicting because they've been engineered this way. To feed off the part of your monkey lizard brain. Most of human history, we've been hunter-gatherers, and we, for the most part, still are. At least if you look at an evolutionary standpoint. All these addictions fill a void inside of you that was meant for you to use to drive your life forward. Which is why they're so detrimental to your life, and it is so sad. So disgusting that all these are being made to be normalized, to be downplayed in real life when they have such detrimental consequences to your life. And for the most part, addiction is something, it's the hardest thing for a human to deal with because you have to live with the rest of your life avoiding this. You just have to sit there avoiding it, using willpower to abstain from it, which is why it's so important to get on self-improvement. Self-improvement really is the only way that you can deal with addiction. That you won't just constantly sit there relapsing. Because with self-improvement, you actively use these things, these voids in your life. And you propel your life forward because of that. You keep yourself distracted. Once you get that momentum going in self-improvement, you keep yourself distracted. Staying away from these addictions is the easiest part of self-improvement. But you have to get on self-improvement. You have to be distracted. Don't allow yourself to have free time. It will get you behind in life. You'll lose the race. So don't be okay with sitting there doing nothing. Because when you're doing nothing, you're being complacent. 
and it makes it easy for you to go to these old addictions to relapse. So keep yourself distracted, train in the gym, eat healthy, start a business, go outside in nature, go socialize with people, fill the void inside of you. Don't artificially fill it with addictions like drugs, alcohol, video games, porn. Keep yourself distracted with self-improvement, with the good habits, and your life will get substantially better because of it.